Vaccines typically require years of research and testing before reaching the clinic. But in 2020, scientists embarked on a race to produce safe and effective coronavirus vaccines in record time. Researchers are currently testing 80 vaccines in clinical trials on humans, and 23 have reached final stages of testing. At least 77 preclinical vaccines are under active investigation on animals. Who should get the COVID-19 vaccine first? Can you still spread COVID with the vaccine? And what are the available vaccines so far? Before we begin, make sure to smash that like button, subscribe to our channel, and click the notification bell for more amazing videos. When scientists began seeking a vaccine for the SARS-CoV-2 coronavirus in early 2020, they were careful not to promise quick success. The fastest any vaccine had previously been developed, from viral sampling to approval, was four years for mumps in the 1960s. To hope for one even by the summer of 2021 seemed highly optimistic, but by the start of December, the developers of several vaccines had announced excellent results in large trials, with more showing promise. And on December 2nd, a vaccine made by drug giant Pfizer with German biotech firm BioNTech became the first fully tested immunization to be approved for emergency use. Vaccine development normally takes years, starting with preclinical laboratory work, but most pandemic vaccines are being tested in overlapping trial phases to compress the timeline. Vaccine Clinical Trial Process Phase 1 checks the safety of a vaccine and determines whether it triggers an immune response in a small group of healthy humans. Phase 2 widens the testing pool to include groups of people who may have the disease or be more likely to catch it to gauge the vaccine's effectiveness. Phase 3 expands the pool up to the thousands to make sure the vaccine is safe and effective among a wider array of people given that immune response can vary by age, ethnicity, or by underlying health conditions. Researchers will look at vaccine efficacy. Does it protect? Who does it protect? And how well? The COVID-19 experience will almost certainly change the future of vaccine science, says Dan Barode, director of the Center for Virology and Vaccine Research at Harvard Medical School in Boston, Massachusetts. It shows how fast vaccine development can proceed when there's a true global emergency and sufficient resources, he says. New ways of making vaccines, such as by using messenger RNA or mRNA, have been validated by the COVID-19 response, he adds. It has shown that the development process can be accelerated substantially without compromising on safety. The world was able to develop COVID-19 vaccines so quickly because of years of previous research on related viruses and faster ways to manufacture vaccines. Enormous funding that allowed firms to run multiple trials in parallel and regulators moving more quickly than normal. Some of those factors might translate to other vaccine efforts, particularly speedier manufacturing platforms. How are COVID-19 vaccines being developed? Vaccines work by mimicking an infectious agent, viruses, bacteria, or other microorganisms that can cause a disease. This teaches our immune system to rapidly and effectively respond against it. Traditionally, vaccines have done this by introducing a weakened form of an infectious agent that allows our immune system to build a memory of it. This way, our immune system can quickly recognize and fight it before it makes us ill. That's how some current COVID-19 vaccine candidates are being designed. Other potential vaccines being developed also use new approaches, what are called RNA and DNA vaccines. Instead of introducing antigens, a substance that causes your immune system to produce antibodies, RNA and DNA vaccines give our body the genetic code it needs to allow our immune system to produce the antigen itself. The COVID-19 vaccines were developed based on the S protein before it contained the mutations identified in the variants. While research suggests that COVID-19 vaccines have lower efficacy against the variants, the vaccines still appear to provide protection against severe COVID-19. Further research is needed. In addition, vaccine manufacturers are also creating booster shots to improve protection against variants. Can a COVID-19 vaccine give you COVID-19? No, the COVID-19 vaccines currently being developed in the U.S. don't use the live virus that causes COVID-19. Keep in mind that it will take a few weeks for your body to build immunity after getting a COVID-19 vaccination. As a result, it's possible you can become infected with the virus that causes COVID-19 just before or after being vaccinated. 
Keep in mind that if you're fully vaccinated from COVID-19, your risk of getting COVID-19 might be low. But if you become infected, you might spread the COVID-19 virus to others even if you don't have any signs or symptoms of COVID-19. In the U.S., the CDC has recommended that the COVID-19 vaccines first be offered to healthcare personnel, adult residents of long-term care facilities, frontline essential workers such as first responders and teachers, people age 75 and older, people ages 65 to 74, people ages 16 to 64 with existing health conditions, other essential workers such as people who work in food service and construction, guidelines for who will be vaccinated first also vary by state in the U.S. Vaccine prospects. Currently, several COVID-19 vaccines are in clinical trials. The FDA will review the results of these trials before approving COVID-19 vaccines for use. But because there is an urgent need for COVID-19 vaccines and the FDA's vaccine approval process can take months to years, the FDA will first be giving emergency use authorization to COVID-19 vaccines based on less data than is normally required. The data must show that the vaccines are safe and effective before the FDA can give emergency use authorization. Pfizer BioNTech COVID-19 Vaccine the Pfizer-BioNTech COVID-19 vaccine is 95% effective in preventing the COVID-19 virus with symptoms. This vaccine is for people age 16 and older. It requires two injections given 21 days apart. The second dose can be given up to six weeks after the first dose if needed. Moderna COVID-19 vaccine The Moderna COVID-19 vaccine is 94% effective in preventing the COVID-19 virus with symptoms. This vaccine is for people aged 18 and older. It requires two injections given 28 days apart. The second dose can be given up to six weeks after the first dose if needed. Janssen, Johnson & Johnson COVID-19 Vaccine In clinical trials, this vaccine was 66% effective in preventing the COVID-19 virus with symptoms as of 14 days after vaccination. The vaccine was also 85% effective at preventing severe disease with the COVID-19 virus at least 28 days after vaccination. This vaccine is for people aged 18 and older. It requires one injection. Both the Pfizer-BioNTech and the Moderna COVID-19 vaccines use messenger RNA or mRNA. Coronaviruses have a spike-like structure on their surface called an S protein. COVID-19 mRNA vaccines give cells instructions for how to make a harmless piece of an S protein. After vaccination, your cells begin making the protein pieces and displaying them on cell surfaces. Your immune system will recognize that the protein doesn't belong there and begin building an immune response and making antibodies. Sinovac, China Sinovac conducted phase 3 trials involving volunteers in Brazil, Indonesia, and Turkey. Although it is not yet approved by regulators, shipments have already arrived in Indonesia, ready for rollout. A report in July says that the Chinese government has given the Sinovac vaccine emergency approval for limited use. The city of Yaxing has reportedly offered the vaccine to health workers and other high-risk groups for 60 US dollars. The company began phase 4 trials in February 2021. Beijing Institute of Biological Products, China The Beijing Institute is part of China's state-run Sinopharm group and developed its vaccine called BBIBP Core V in collaboration with the Chinese Center for Disease Control and Prevention. In phase three trials in the UAE, 5,000 people received BBIBP Core V. The Institute has now begun phase four trials for the vaccine. That's it for today's video. Don't forget to smash that like button, share this video with your friends, and tell us what you want to see next in the comments below.